What you doing, Hootie? What you got here, man? This kind of fancy looking base you got there, son. What is that? Huh? It's so fancy and ooh, ooh. Ooh, it's very dirty. Look, <laughs> and the strings has rust on them. Can't be touching those. All right, Hootie, you can go, man. I, I, let me turn this down. And why you got everything so loud, man? What you doing, bro? Can you get back over here? Everybody still can see you. You still be in the movie. You can still be in the movie. You, can you see? <laughs> look. Can you see? All right, so look. All right, so. Be wearing my mask. And ain't nobody here but me and Hootie. All right, so look. Uh, today, this is a... Brian Moore guitar. Now, back in the day, um, they were really, really cool guitar. I don't think they took off like they should have took it. Look, tooken off. <laughs> Look, I don't think they took off like they should have taken off. But shout out to everybody anyway. <laughs> Iso, look, look, look. Iso, let's look at it because, ooh, I'm almost scared. I, I need to put some gloves on. This thing is, ugh. All right, so. From my understanding, the customer told me it's been sitting up for years. All right. So, wow. So, let's do this. All right. So, all this is rusted and dirty. All this is dirty. My understanding, it doesn't even work. All right. So, all the preamp got to come out. Pickups got to come out because the customer don't like them. I've been waiting a couple of days to see if the neck is going to move. I, I brought the neck down to see if it would do anything else. And so far, it has not moved uh, from where I... Ooh, that's rusted in. Ooh, God. It has not moved from where I started the last time. So, since it hasn't moved, I'm going to um, I'm going to begin work on it. Ooh, look at that. It's rusted. All right, so let's see how far she come down. Okay. Well, we already know that all these... Everything has to be taken off this base and cleaned. Every screw, everything. All right, so it's loose now. So if I had been a neck through and been sitting up in a, in a, in a cave, look. Oh, she needs special attention. She's going to need special attention. First of all, at least one of the set of the screws come out. So I need to get as low as I possibly can. To do that, I'm going to have to do a, a lot of major work. Really cool base, man. The, the input jack is back in the back. And it goes in there. That's got to come out. Because I'm getting a new preamp. In the back of it, I don't know what, it's, what that preamp is. Um, we can take a look at it if you want to. Look, like y'all got, got, got time. All right, so let's look at it. I mean, look how dirty the screws are. Ugh. The screws got green stuff on it. That can't be good. Green stuff can't be good. Like it's a nine volt battery. These guitars, I I really never owned one. I always looked at them because I thought they were so cool. The design is really cool. All right, so what we're looking at now is, ooh, a bunch of rusty stuff and a bunch of green stuff. I don't feel like touching that right now. All the pots are rusted green. Wow. So all this got to come out. All right. So I like the tuners. The tuners are really cool. Everything is gold. Um, everything has to be taken off. But I want y'all to look at the strings because I don't know if y'all can see it or not. See it? See the strings? Can you see the dirt on the string? You can't see that dirt on the strings right there? Y'all, it might not be. Man, but this is a Brian Moore. And I, I, I really dig the style. And it's a neck through. So we're going to take all this stuff off. And we're going to put a Tone Monster preamp and EMGs in there. We're going to set this joint on fire. Going to have to redo all the frets on the Because they're, oh yeah, they got to do. All the frets got to be done. The whole body has to be washed and cleaned and buffed several times to, to get, in, to get a, a, an estimate of how she's going to sound and play. All right. And I don't even know you. <laughs> Look, I don't even know you, but I love you. Okay. All right, so it's got pearl inlays. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's... 
It seemed like a cool base. I gotta keep washing my hand though. Woo! Cause man, there's some there's some dirt stuff going on here. This is a glove kind of thing. To be a doctor, you gotta doctor, you gotta doctor gloves on. Look, got doctor gloves. And a mask. Wow. So my understanding is sitting there for 20 years, so yeah. She she'll look like this. But we're gonna take everything apart. Give me a couple of days. I'm gonna bring it back to you with uh with the preamp all in it. It see it, the preamp that's in it now, I don't even know what it is. Something. But she's gonna be all purity. You well I almost I almost got close to it. <laughs> we don't wanna do that. He he told me not to do that. Who he told me not to do that, y'all? So we're gonna we gonna we're gonna we're gonna get this right, y'all. In fact, I'm still working on it right now. Because yikes. ugly man all right so first thing i want to do is make sure i don't get hit upside the mug or the, the brainy parts because them, those 15 year old strings pop loose and take me out <laughs> Woo! 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 a lot of people are like why don't you just Listen attention on them, take them out. Man, you want to do as less touching you want to on, on these strings. And these look like boomers. They are old boomers. They are. They're red coated boomers. Yikes. Let it go. Come on now. Ugh. I mean, look at that. Ugh. All right, so, and, and no, no. But look, it was dust and everything coming off the, off the fresh and everything. Look at that. So this base is, I think it's made in the U.S. But it came from Metro Sound. It sure did. It came from Metro Sound in Richmond, Virginia. Down there with Mr. Mark. He sold this a couple, 20 something years ago. I bet he'd be glad to see this. He's like, oh man, my, my base is still around the city. Pretty sure he knows a whole lot of his bases around the city. I'm gonna go in there and visit him. See what he got in there that might excite me. That I can't get right now. Oh boy, look at this. So we're really not gonna worry about this. The plate we're gonna worry about though. We're gonna need the plate. So we're gonna, I might have to make a new plate. Ooh. He really don't even want to let that go. That is amazing. So we're gonna save all this. <laughs> look, we're gonna start saving all this. Oh man, look at how much stuff we saving. The customer's like, I don't care if it does work. I don't, it really don't work. So I'm just, just right now I'm just cutting wires. Just to get this top off. I'm glad you guys hang with me, man. It's kind of cool. You guys hang around in the Hobo Depot. Come right here, boy. We we all might learn something. Right today, we learned that this is garbage right here. I'm gonna cut this really short. Whew. What is that? Oh, that's the battery. You don't need that either. So we took we taking that off. All right, and then we're gonna take this off. It's all rusted in. We're gonna save the screws though, because the screws go back in. Might put a new battery. Oh man, that joint is in there. Like, like in there. Woo wee. I'm pretty sure the battery probably been in there 20 years. He was true. He was like, hey man, this base I it's, it's been sitting down in, in a place for 20 years. And you know, you might want to just go through it and I plugged it in, it didn't work. I didn't touch it though. I didn't. I didn't. 
Didn't touch it. <laughs> Look at that. It won't even come up, man. Arrgh. Get out of here. Ooh, that's nasty. Mm. I'll try to figure out what year it is. I'll probably read the serial number to figure out what year. So these are the pickups. Now the next thing we want to do, y'all, y'all hang with me. All right, I ain't gonna keep y'all long though, cause I know y'all got things to do. And this is gonna be a, a, a problem because this is a hex head, but it's gotta come out. All right, so we're gonna finish taking the bridge off. Set that over there too, with all the rest of the screws and whatever came out with it. All this stuff goes into a, and in fact, let's put them in this little cup. It's my little screw cup. That's why I don't lose anything. And I set all this down into the water so it get clean. And the bridge. So the next thing you want to do is take, is take the, uh, get rid of that, is take off, I don't know if I'm going to put these back on, but I'm going to clean them anyway, in case the customer wants them back on. Because it really, it, it'll be really cool to have it original, some of the original parts back on it. That's kind of cool. I like original parts going back on, as long as they clean. So I, I let them soak for like, like a half a day into some really good solution. And then I take some, um, look, I said anti-rust. I'll take some anti-rust solution and I'll put it in, put it at it and so, they, so these screws can soak out. Arr! See what I mean? And on these things, you got sweat and dirt and, and everything they touched. <laughs> Look, there's some things you don't want to know they touched. All this stuff is on this, on these, on these knobs and on that snack. Man, his neck is so dirty. It looked like the dirt from Jesus' days. That's how dirty that neck is. So the next thing we're gonna do, whoo, we're gonna go to our socket and we're gonna find a socket that goes on this. And we're gonna take them all off. Cause basically we don't need none of these. It's got a switch. I don't know what to switch to. I probably on and off preamp. Most likely. So we're gonna take all this off. All the nuts off. Pre-up, I'll put it in a little bag for him in case he wants to keep it, which I can't figure out why he would want to keep this nasty butt thing. I'm gonna want to keep it. It's just, it's nasty. All right, all this stuff comes down and goes into, goes into the cup. Everything gets clean. Cause I don't want, in, in case he wants to keep it, at least be clean. It's like, man, that's a good idea. Did you think of that? I just thought of that. Did were, were you here when I thought of it? Yeah, we were. I figured you were. We were hanging around. So we're not gonna, we're gonna do this because we don't need that anymore anyway. All right, so the pre up. It's out. That's the end of her days. We're going to keep that because it goes to the bridge. Uh oh. All right. All this stuff right here, I put a little bag for him in case he wants to have memories. <laughs> of what? Of garbage. <laughs> memories of garbage. All right. So as we can see right now, the uh everything in the cavity is out next move pickups thank god they coming right out some, some screws are really really in there bad and they're nasty they nasty they nasty so this this should come good all right so I don't even know, it says DXH1F. The F stands for the front. Okay, let's do the next one. 
It's got a, it's, it's got a, um, a sunken bridge. That's kind of cool. In one way, bad in another. The other bad part is, if you want to put another bridge on, that bridge has to be exactly like this bridge to, you're going to have all this showing. And this one says, DXH2 rear. I'm going to keep all that for him. So, and there you have it. What is this right here? I don't know what this is. This is a, a gray wire running somewhere. Oh, input. All right, so let's take the input off. I probably get a socket on that, but since I already got you out, we can go ahead and turn it with you. Okay, okay, okay. Let me use a socket. So, I had a socket to fit this. If not, a wrencher. A wrencher, a wrencher where we fit it. What size is this? 11, 20, 12. 12 mil. 12 millimeter. It's 11. Why they got no 12? Oh, they have my other box. Oh, dude. That can't be good. All right, so do I have a 12 mil millimeter wrench? I have 14 sitting right there. 17. And let's try this. It is a 13 millimeter. All right. We're going to put that in the box. Too. See, I, I'm going to try to save all the original stuff for him because he may ask for it. Maybe good memories. For me, I would not want a memory of this mess at all. This is just, this is not pretty. Now, the trick is to find something that would fit all this rust right here. And it looks the way it looks, it's not going to happen. So what I might have to do is get a drill bit because it is completely rusted in. What I could do, another thing I could do, is go out in my other shed and get some, some nut buster. Because we already know that these screws are not going back at all so it's two things i could do i can get a nut buster because they all rusted up i can get nut buster or i can get a um drill we don't really want to hurt the base that much so let's see if i could find something that would actually help it to come out Nope. That's supposed to fit it right there. Nope. So, it's all rusted in. Best thing for me to do is to actually drill this out. Because I, it, it's, all, it's rusted all around where I can't get even one of these in there. These, uh, I call them crawlers. <laughs> They're like, they're like a thousand claws or something. I can't even get none of them in there. Or either I can, if I can get a screwdriver to go in there. See, that won't fit it either. See, I got all these little tools, specialty tools. And if these don't work, then you're in trouble. Then you have to, you're not really not in trouble. You just have to, um, I have to tell who to go to the, to the hardware store and get me some of these specialty tools. That um, I claim I ain't got. All right, on this side, bro. All right, so we're going to look in here. Hopefully, we got some specialty tools. One of these. I don't see that yet, Hootie. Oh. All right, so we're going to try a couple more pieces of these. And then we're going to take some of this stuff. See these two, these drills right here? They just want to go inside these things and just make them back right back out. Look, that's another specialty tool. All right, so I, as far as I can see, I don't have anything to fit it. And I'm wasting a lot of time. That's one thing I don't like doing. It's wasting time on minor... Uh-oh. It's all rusted out. 
on a on a miter job. You know, this is minor. I mean, basically, I can. Nothing is. It's all rusted out. So I'll take a drill and, and cut the head off them. And once I get the cavity off, I can just take some pliers and pull it back out. Anyway, y'all. So this is this is what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the day. It's about three o'clock, four o'clock, and I'm a little tired because I started work this morning around six. That's early. So, once again, guys, thank you for coming back to Hobo Depot. Checking out my boy Hootie over there. Please keep praying for us because I pray for y'all every morning. I'm up bright and early praying for you guys. And, to, like I said, today we're working on a, a Brian Moore five-string. I, I don't know if it's a custom or not. But I want you guys to know that you should tell somebody you love them because... They may not be here five minutes from now. Some of them one minute from now. So if you if somebody crossed your mind, a lot of people say, you know, oh, you fell in my spirit. Then you need to call them. You know, I mean, really, you just need to call them. And if, if somebody crossed your mind, call them. And if you've been thinking about somebody, you know, a, a friend or whoever it be, call them. And say, hey, look, I've been thinking about you. Just want to say hi. And I love you. Also, rem remember, one note will heal the world. And please, guys, keep praying for the Queen and I and the Home Depot. You definitely need to keep praying with this cat, man. He's, he's He has issues. <laughs> well, shout out to Kaka, Fool, Johnny, Elon, and Home Depot. <laughs> Back to work. Peace. Ah. All right. All right. I'm hungry. I need to go in the house. I'm hungry.